excited, I'm so excited to share this recipe with you, which I'm making especially for my grandson. Hey Ryan, um, for eczema, psoriasis, scars, wounds. This is for you. So I've put a hot pan of water with my pan inside. I'm melting down mango butter, which is made from seeds of mango, and it's it con it's contains concentrated of fatty acids. Contains concentrated fatty acids. The coconut oil helps protect skin. It's smooth skin and is a great base for antioxidants. So if you chop it up into smaller pieces, it will help with the melting. I wish that I'd put in the beeswax at this point because I ended up adding stuff on top of the beeswax instead of waiting for it to melt down. And the beeswax that I use was really solid pellets, very yellow. So, you know, I add in the beeswax. I should have only put a little bit in, but I did put a lot in. I did want this cream to be really soothing and nourishing at the same time, especially for scars and wounds. And you get bad wounds and scars from eczema, eczema and psoriasis if you don't treat your skin and repair the skin like you need to. And since I've been using these creams, my skin is looking amazing. In my last video, if you haven't seen it, have a little look because I've been using it and it was the first time I'd worn makeup in a few days and it made all the difference, even to putting on my makeup, it made a massive difference. So even if it, you're a man, seriously, you should be oiling your skin, you should be nourishing your hair and your beards if you've got a beard. There's so many nourishing creams that you can make now that you don't need to go and buy them. But don't get me wrong, it's cost me a bit of money to get all the bits together, but it's worth it to share it out to everybody and to help my family and my own skin. That's amazing, isn't it? Something I made myself. It's so rewarding. You've got to try it. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not and you're returning, thank you. My name is Nikki Jones, by the way. This is something quite new to my channel, but I needed to share this after sharing the fact that I'm using my own cream for my wounds. I've even put bio, bio oil in there, which will help reduce scars and wounds and stretch marks. Jehovah oil, spelt Jehovah oil, and vegetable glycerine I've put in there as well. I also used, I could have used sunflower oil, but I didn't have any. So I used almond oil instead. Bio oil will help improve of new and old scars and improve the appearance of stretch marks, retain skin's moisture. But guys, listen, put this stuff on your skin and then use your new normal moisturiser on top. Don't use this as just as a moisturiser. Use also your normal skincare routine. 
I'm just sharing you my own homemade re recipe that I've managed to put together now. I've put vitamin E. And the almond oil helps reduce puffiness under the eyes. It can improve acne, help reverse skin damage, and reduce the appearance of scars. The jojoba oil is nourishing, antibacterial, and hypogenic, and helps speed up wounds. The vitamin E is an antioxidant and it's used for many creams. We you find vitamin E in lots of creams, especially ones you need to use. So the lemongrass has purifying properties and these properties help to reduce imp impurities, detoxifying the skin and leaving it feeling clean and clear. Antio antioxidants are good for you as they help to neutralise damaging free radicals which harm your skin. Now the frankincense essential oils is said to treat dry skin and help reduce the appearance of wrinkles, age spots, scars and stretch marks. Yuddletite spice, I don't know if I said that right. Is a very, it's a very lovely smell. It's more of a smell than anything, which is suitable for both hair care or skin. So at this point, it's all melted and it needs to cool down. Now I added all my essential oils and my bio oil my honey and everything in at the beginning and really i shouldn't have added it at even not quite at, maybe just at this point now this is when i should have put my oils in my extra oils in my bio oil in my jehova oil in my arrowroot powder my vitamin e my frankincense, my lemongrass, and my yuletite spice. I don't know you, yuletite. How do you say that? I don't even know. I'll put it in the description. But it's a lovely smell. It really is a nice smell. It's kind of manly. I've gone kind of manly because it's for my grandson and he's like getting a big boy now. So, you know, you want your creams to smell nice, don't you? But it's not over smelly. It's just a little tiny scent. Um, I think if I'd have put my oils, my incense, I keep saying that incense, duh. I mean, if I put in my essential oils in at this stage the smell would have been stronger because it was still hot i think if you do it when it's cooled down so for my next trick right is that i put this in the freezer to speed it up and it really worked because all i wanted to do is just get a little skin over the top or just to take that give it a real thickness I'm splashing it over the edges here. No good, am I? Anyway, here we go. It does smell good. I was just making sure there's no more lumps in there. And it's thoroughly stirred. It looks like, um, you know, like custard. So here we are, right? Now we're talking. So really whisk this up. 
get it right from the edges because it will have stuck to the edges. So I kind of scraped mine down and that kind of helped it come away because I didn't want there to end up being lumps in it. So I thought if I get it from the beginning and scrape it from the edges first before I stir it. Mm -hmm. 